the longer they dig the pit, the deeper the hole is gonna be, the longer the fall. Guys, I don't even know how I'm gonna give you guys this word. It's not a long word. It's a word that I've been holding on to for about like three three days now. But the thing about it is yesterday when I, yesterday, the day before when I received a lot of words, um, I was gonna post it yesterday and God said, no, wait till tomorrow. So he told me to wait till today to post the words, right? Um, I like when he does that because, you know, when I don't hear that, I'll post it. But when he does that, there's a specific reason. It may be like, you know, the right person will hear it at this day. You know, God's all about his timing and stuff like that. But um, I received the word the other day. And I just want to say something to y'all. I just want to say something to y'all. God takes every single attack that has been done to you. God takes it very personal okay very personal and I just had to stress it in that way because I don't think you guys understand how much God truly 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 loves you despite how you feel when going through these trials and tribulations okay he takes every single attack that has been done to you very personal and I talked about this in the past and I said God has a list okay God has a list he has a list of every single thing that was done to you and every single person that has done it he takes every single thing personal and best believe even if it feels like it was not dealt with when it happened or it feels like you still received no justice for what happened. Best believe God is all about timing. He's all about timing. There's a time and a place for everything, right? And God always ensures that when you get your vindication, which you get, when you get your justice, it is going to be the right time. God specifically said they are going to learn. There's a saying that we say in Jamaica, those who don't hear will feel. We say this in Jamaica, those who don't hear will feel. I don't know if it's a Caribbean thing or, or, or Americans say it too, but there's a saying, it's like, you know, if you, those who don't hear, yeah, go feel. And that's what's going to happen because they don't want to hear, they're going to feel. You get what I'm saying? God said, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. And the thing about it is people mocked God when they did that. They mocked God when they attacked you. They mocked God. And they thought they were getting away with it. And the, some of them still think they're getting away with it. God told me that right now in this season, it's a season of revelation. Which means not only is he going to reveal who's been up against you this whole time. And many of you guys already know. But he's also going to give you a revelation of what type of wrath is going to happen so he may have even gave you specific details sometimes he doesn't tell you anything and you just have to let god be you can't look for you know look for retaliation and stuff like that but when you have a good heart god god knows your heart god weighs the heart and weighs the motives when you have a good heart and god knows you're not gonna you know glorify you know your enemy's downfall he knows that you have a good heart he knows you've been praying for them he knows you've been praying that they turn a new leaf he knows you've been asking god to forgive them like god knows your heart so when God, because God knows you have a good heart for those who resonate with this portion of the word, he would have already shown you the wrath that your enemy is going to get or enemies are going to get. And not everybody is able to receive that type of confirmation because not everybody, it may not be the right time to receive it. Sometimes maturity is involved. Like you, you may not be mature yet to receive, to receive that type of confirmation or God may know that you're going to glorify. So he may actually bring the vindication in without you even realizing it, right? But some people, they receive details as to what's going to happen, right? And I just want to say that God said they are going to learn they are going to learn. And the saddest part is they could have learned the easier route had they just listened. They could have learned the easiest route. Do you get what I'm saying? But they are going to learn the hard way. They are going to learn the hard way. And God's not only give, sorry, giving you guys revelations about that, but he is giving people 
who are associated with you, who know who you are, even if they're not friends with you, even if they don't talk to you, if they know of you and God is able to communicate with them and they have gifts just like you or they have specific gifts and or they're dreamers. Because there's a lot of people who are dreamers that don't even understand that, they're, that they have a gift. They may just dream a lot. But they may know, okay, I'm dreaming about this consistently. God has given me repetitive dreams, so maybe I'm gifted or this dream may mean something. God is grabbing the attention of people that are able to hear from him, that are able to see visions, that are able to receive dreams. God is gaining a lot of the attention of individuals who are receptive to receiving this, and they're receiving information about who your attackers are. So not only are your attackers being revealed to you, aka exposed to you, as to you know who they are, but your attackers are also being revealed to peep other people. You see what I'm saying? To other people. There's vindication that's coming in all forms. Not only is it coming because, you know, you know, through, you know, the wrath of God on your attackers, but because the vindication is obviously not you glorifying their attack. It's more so when God actually does what he needs to do, they leave you alone, which means you receive peace, which means you don't have to worry about it anymore. That's vindication alone because you don't have to suffer anymore because of the hands of someone else. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, but also vindication is also going to come in the form of people who may have wronged you verbally, who may have wronged you emotionally. I'm not just talking about attacks as in witchcraft. That's going to be the harsh wrath. I'm talking about people who may have accused you, who may have lied on you, who may have doubted you, who may have mistreated you for no apparent reason. Who may have a, who treated you bad for no apparent reason? You get what I'm saying? God may even reveal to these very people, like, hey, you're mistreating this person who is my child, not realizing that this is what they're up against. And God may reveal it to them, not realizing that they're actually mine, not realizing that I am blessing them, that they are my sheep. Do you see what I'm saying? So God is checking people i'll just say that he is checking people left right and center he is checking people okay because touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm is not only just someone doing witchcraft on you that is someone verbally abusing you emotionally abusing you spiritually abusing you that is someone that may have even tarnished your character or your name that is someone that may have gossiped about you lied about you you know that that scripture refers to any form of attack but there's levels to each different type of attack but i'm just gonna say god is checking people and he said they are going to learn okay and i want to tell you something he took every single attack that you've experienced very personal something happened to me the other day and um it's crazy because i've seen god frustrated before like upset but something happened to me where someone outside who i don't even know you go to someone for a service and they try to screw you over, like they try to take advantage of you. And I didn't even know that this is a remember, this is a complete stranger. I didn't even know the stranger was taking advantage of me. And when God showed it to me that night and told me, you know, I have to go to someone else because of that, he was upset. Like when I mean the Holy Spirit was fuming, he was fuming. He was very angry. He was very angry. And Although I know God gets angry when we're attacked, attacked. Cause remember, that, that's an attack, but that's a different type of attack. That's someone just trying to take advantage of someone. But they didn't know that they were trying, they're taking advantage of a child of God. That's what they didn't know, right? But for me to see God getting upset at that, I was like, whoa, I can only imagine the type of anger God gets when it's someone that's actually trying to harm us. You get what I'm saying? Like, if I'm seeing him upset about something like that, <laughs> you know what I mean? He loves us so much, he's upset about things like that, right? And it's like, I could only imagine how angry he gets when it's when it's relating to something even deeper. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I said, like, it may seem like they're getting away with things, but they're not. They're not. God is strategic. Not only does he want to give our enemies time to repent, you get what I'm saying? Like, he's he's merciful too. So he will give our enemies time to repent, right? But when they're not learning... Remember, 
their own hands create their own folly and it states this in proverbs their own hands the evils evil doers own hands create their own folly right and what god will do is god will let them think they're getting away and let them dig their hole deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper because the longer they're digging their hole that pit the deeper the pit is going to be which means the deeper the fall do you get it that's very deep the longer they dig the pit the deeper the hole is gonna be the longer the fall you see what i'm saying and that's the strategy that's being used right now that's why i say don't worry about when or how you're going to be vindicated. If God shows you, that's good because he may show you like he shows some of us. But just know that God takes every single attack very personal. Very, very personal. Okay? So I want to give you all this confirmation. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.